Sega. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the new series of The Incredible Hulk. Everyone's Marvel favorite green um, rage monster superhero. <laughs> now, and this is going to be a canon of the story of uh, something of a vibe set of the official game from one of the official Hulk movies. But I'm not going to spoil anything for you guys if you don't know of that official movie, which is fine because you're going to get a first joy experience, but also shows a little bit more of extra treat in this story. So, without further ado, let's get this party started, Rora! He tried to shoot himself. Yeah, always really pissed about it. This is five years later after that. It's a sir. Banner has a good lead. They are captain. He must not escape. Oh great, yes, that guy. Keep running. Bruce! Yeah, you really shouldn't have done that. Oh, what do we have here? Bullets can't hurt Hulk. Damn straight, it's not working. He's the Incredible Hulk, you idiot. He can't be killed by simple normal bullets, you dumbass.
<laughs> With every step he can make a heart, uh, earthquake. With every breath, he can create a hurricane. Look at that green energy health bubble. Helicopter's not gonna do jack shit to the Incredible Hulk. You gotta do a lot better than NAND. Oh, that's how it works. Okay. There we go. <laughs> I was confused there for a second. Sorry, it took me so long. Dumb soldier. in there, General. It was not the gorilla. Obviously. Banner knows what he was. I'm going to find him, I'm going to put my foot in his throat, and then I'm going to ask him. That was Banner. <laughs> You're going to have to explain that statement, sir. Banner's work was a tangent of biotech. That's our engineering solution. Banner was working on a biological one to improve the man instead of the equipment. Are you telling me it becomes that thing at will? I don't have to answer that, soldier. Banner was brilliant. One in a generation, but 
He's a scientist. He's not one of us. No, why not just take the data to someone else? Because he is the data. As far as I'm concerned, that man's whole body is property of the army. I really never lied to General Ross in the first place. Uh. Hmm. I've gotten used to the brutality of the monster, but there are times when he surprises me by reaching out and helping someone in need. I both cherish and dread those moments, because as much as I want to take credit for his good deeds, I also have to take responsibility for his crimes. Huh. I guess that's one of the reasons why Bruce Banner never wanted this life, which of course he didn't ask for this job of life. Hmm. Huh. Okay, folks, I'm going to put a stop here until next time on the next episode, which will be real quick. So, what this is, that's gone spy the spy. Sign off for now. Happy these messages.